Let me start by saying that as a grown man, I was 100% against making this video and originally had no intentions whatsoever to talk about this subject publicly. But after using this consistently for the last month, I now feel obligated to make this review because this should be on everyone's radar. This isn't a sponsored video or anything, but if I'm being honest, this could easily be the best thing I've bought all year. So if you're interested to hear from a first-time bidet user and a guy's perspective, this review is for you. Now my toilet looks a little different than yours, and I'll explain what's going on with the lights later, but for now, let's start at the beginning. I was watching some YouTube videos, can guarantee you it wasn't anything close to this topic, and the advertisement that played was for the Omigo. I rarely click on ads, but after watching it all the way through, I went to their website and within 5 minutes was convinced that I've got to try this. I first heard about bidets probably around 2005, and they seem to be standard in most luxury house tours I've seen over the years, so those people must know something I don't. A lot of them list around the $5,000 price point and is going to be hard to justify upgrading for the most of us. I always thought that you had to buy the entire toilet. This is an option, but I later realized that there are a lot of companies making bidet seats that fit most standard American toilets for a fraction of the price. And from what I can tell from the reviews, the level of cleanliness is about the same. Curiosity got the best of me, and I went with their most expensive model because I didn't see the point in buying one unless it had the air dryer. The seat shipped inside the factory blue box with the address label on the other side. No one would know what's inside unless they recognize the name or care to look them up. So if you're trying to be discreet, just don't expect it to ship inside a brown box. Setup was easy and took around 30 minutes to install. After shutting off the water supply, flushing the toilet, and removing the old seat, I was able to disconnect the water line and attach the new setup to the T-fitting. Essentially, it washes you from the same fresh water line that your shower does. I used a crescent wrench to tighten all the fittings just beyond hand tight. Two hose clips were provided, which keeps things looking neat. I'll have links to some of the tools and accessories that you might need in the description. The mounting plate is what holds the bidet in place and the plastic bolt nuts should only be tightened by hand. If you need to adjust the seat forward or backward, you'll need to loosen the mounting bolts and move the seat until it clicks into the next position. Then retighten the bolts. The Omigo is made from lightweight plastic. Definitely feels a little on the flimsy side and not something I would sit on with the lid closed. But I can tell you it's designed this way for several reasons. Besides keeping the manufacturing and shipping costs down, it's for the soft close lid. You can close it just like any other lid or get it started and walk away. The next reason would be for the heated seat. The seat has an off, low, medium, and high setting. I've only used this feature a couple of times and keep it off just to save on electricity, but it is a good option to have and heats up relatively quick. The blue nightlight stays on 24-7 by default, but can be turned off manually using button combinations found on the side of the seat. Whenever seat pressure is detected, the nozzles will run through a self-cleaning cycle which lasts about 3 seconds. A full 60 second cleaning can be done from the remote and pressing the nozzle cleaning button on the side of the seat will extend the nozzles for manual cleaning. There are seven adjustable positions, three spray widths, three pressure settings, and three water temperatures available for each nozzle. Once the wash cycle has finished, the air dryer will not start automatically and will need to be manually selected. The air dryer also has three adjustable temperature settings and can run for two minutes at a time, but can rerun through another cycle if the button is pressed before the two minutes are up. Any function currently in motion can be stopped midway by pressing the remote stop button. The magnetic remote holder can easily be moved, and mine is held in place using two sheetrock screws. If you didn't notice the power cord at the beginning of the video, I had to install a receptacle. I would recommend spending the extra money on a GFI outlet instead of a standard receptacle for safety reasons if you aren't able to link to another GFI in the room. Fortunately, I was able to link this receptacle to this one, which is connected to the GFI on the other side of the sink. So if an imbalance in current happens from any one of the three locations, all three outlets will immediately shut off. Of course, using an extension cord is always an option too. The LED lights were added because I needed a good thumbnail, and now that I have a receptacle installed, why not? 
Plus, if I later wanted to turn off the blue night light, I can always use one of the solid colors for lighting instead. Generally, these sticky light strips would be applied to the back of a computer monitor or TV, but I guess they could also work for toilets. Depending on the mood, there are a bunch of colors and patterns to choose from. Yeah, I have a thing for LED lights anyway, so this actually made sense. So what are my overall impressions after the first month of use? One of the questions I had before buying was about the deodorizer. Usually, when a company advertises a product that eliminates odors, they mean eliminates most odors. I can honestly say that not once have I walked out of the room and walked back in minutes later and smelt anything at all. So the charcoal filter is definitely doing its job. I still have a few rolls of toilet paper, some wet wipes, and bathroom spray, but since the Amigo arrived, I haven't used any of them. At this point, it's just there for decoration. I like the fact that I don't have to spend thousands of dollars on a new toilet to get similar hands-free features thanks to the removable seat. Because the length of the seat is noticeably longer than my old one, it does get in the way when it's time to flush because I don't have a handle on the side of the tank. I have a water saving button on top which is used to select a half or full flush. Still, this is probably the most functional toilet in the neighborhood so it all works out. Once you've mastered the controls and given yourself a week of continuous use, you will see that it is not possible to stay this clean all day using toilet paper and wet wipes. I don't care how much you're spending on toilet paper. You can never actually be clean using the standard western method. You think you are, but you're not. So to wrap this up, I don't know which feature I'm more impressed with. The deodorizer, the wash, or the air dryer. This is something you can't view as a hyped up toilet seat. You have to look at it from the perspective of a long term investment towards your health and cleanliness. Over time, this product will pay for itself. Let me know in the comments if you found this helpful and be sure to check out my product reviews playlist for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.